Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So what we're going to do today is going to be another programming project. And what this is going to be focused on, it's going to be focused on uh, formatting the string variable. Just, just practice on using it, first of all, and how to input string variables and just manipulate them in the Cout function to print what you need. So uh, what you need to know before before uh, starting this video is you need to have seen or know how to do uh, string declarations and you need to know how to work with the Cout function. And that's besides that, it's not a very difficult program. It's actually fairly, fairly straightforward, fairly simple. So the registration program. So what we're going to do is we're going to print out registration and we're going to ask for the first name. You're going to put what the first name is. We're going to ask for the last name. You're going to put what the last name is. And I my, what I mean by what it is, we need to use a C, uh, C, CIN function for these three values. So we need the user to input the name during program execution as well as the last name. And we need to use the CIN function as well for the birth year. So this is what the first part of the program is going to look like, right? And then for the second half, it's going to be auto-generated. Welcome, first first name. Uh, your registration is complete. Name, first, last. And temporary password is first times birth year. So uh, let's just get started. If you want to go ahead and do this program yourself, please pause the video. But I will go ahead and get started. So, of course, for every C program, you need to include our directives. For our first one's going to be the iOS stream. And the second one, don't forget, since we are working with string variables, we need to include the string uh, directive. Now what we want to do is using namespace std, and we want to use our main function. So right here, the only relatively new concept that we've introduced is the directive for strings. That's it. We haven't introduced anything major. So our first step is we want to print out. Honestly, you can do the declarations first or you can do this first. It's whichever way you want. I want to print out registration form. And then I want to do a backslash N. What a backslash N is, it's like pressing enter. And then as you can see, there's two enters. So one to go to the next line. And this is, uh, we want this to be clear. So we want another backslash N. That's all it is. In in the console, all it will do is go to the next line. And then we want to end that. So now we want to declare our variables. So we have two string variables. We have, we want to declare type string. And we have our first name that we need. And we need our last name. And we have one integer variable, which is going to be our year. So now we can get started on asking for the first name, last name, and birth year. So C out, first name. And we use our CIN function to ask for the first. And then we're going to use our CL function to ask for the last name. CIN function, and this would be our last string. And birth year, C out again. Birth year. All right, so this this code right here pretty much is the first half. That code that we've done is this right here. Now we have to properly format this part right here. So I'm going to bring this down so we can work while we see it while we're formatting. All right. Remember, this is commented out, so the syntax is not looking at it whatsoever. So what what are we looking at? As you can see here, 
CIN function always goes to the next line. So when we use our CIN function for birth year, it brings us to this line. What we want, and as you can see in our format, we want to start on the next line with welcome Bjorn. So we need to start with a uh, new line character. If not, they would be, if we didn't start with a new line character, it would be like this. But that's not what our formatting wants. Alright, so we're going to start with the new line. It's pretty much just an enter key. And then we write our welcome space, our operator, and then our first name. And we can do end line. End line is like a new line. Uh, it pretty much goes to the next line. So you can pretty much new line and end line are interchangeable somewhat. But uh, they work the same way. See out your registration is complete. So here I can put a new line if I want or I can just put end line. For me I always like end line just because I, I like to uh, code in a, in a very organized way so I don't mess up or or just so I can read it better so I always just write it like that. So see out name and remember we can't hard code the name because the user can write different names and change it. So what we want to do is name first. Remember there's a space right here. There's no spaces if, uh, if I just put first and then last. And last. And we'll have another end line there. So it goes to the next line. See out. Temporary, password, and what we're going to do is we're going to do first, we're going to have a quotation marks, have that, that multiplication sign, and have that year, and we'll end line there. So that looks about correct. We'll see if we find any syntax problems while it starts debugging. But as you can see, the formatting is it's very um, different. So you have to make sure you know how to do it. So let's say our first name is John Stewart, born in 1939. So welcome, John. Oop, I forgot. I forgot the exclamation point on first name. So here we want to have a quotation marks, exclamation, an operator. So let's try that one more time. All right. So let's just do their name, Bjorn, Stroll, Strup. And he was born in 1950. As you can see, welcome Bjorn. Your registration is complete. I need that period there, but it's fine. Name Bjorn Strosa. And temporary password is Bjorn 1950. So as you can see, you can you can keep running this and changing the names. And it'll it'll change the name in the program because it's not initialized yet. So you can see, welcome John, John Stewart, John 1958. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys were able to uh, learn something from this video or even learn a little bit more formatting and uh, string uh, usage and, and other uh, fundamental program building. Well, please leave a like, guys, comment, subscribe, so I can keep continuing making these C++ videos. Thank you so much.